Okay, this video is going to be using uh, a nice little tool that my dad taught me about years ago. It's, it's called a cinch tie. It's pretty simple. It's made of brass, but when you're tying a lot of uh, cinch knots, making those pompano rigs, it's just a lot easier using this tool. And we'll try to demo this for you just to give you an idea how it works. Let's, uh, let's start with a, a barrel swivel. We put that barrel swivel on the end, and I don't know, have maybe like a three inch tag hanging out there. Let's try to get rid of this spare line here. All right, so maybe three inches or so. And we take our tool, put it in the loop. One, two, three. And then we connect it by pushing it open and then just pull it through you're going to have to wet this and going to need a plier here give yourself a good knot so wet it first and then grab your barrel swivel give it a tug now you got a real nice knot there, and obviously you got to cut your tag off. It's that easy. It takes a little more finesse to uh, do the hooks. Let's uh, let's cut one of our loops here for the hooks. Remember, we want to leave a long tag here, about an inch, three quarter of an inch, and. Let's take one of our circle hooks. So same thing. I usually probably have at least at least a three inch loop here. Got your loop. Hold your hold your loop so your hooks hanging low and then this 50 pound test so I don't want to go with four I'm, three's plenty for a cinch knot with 50 pound test if you were using 30 you might want to go with four twists but anyways put it in one two three and then grab that tag and I like to push up while I'm holding it and then wet it Make sure you use pliers, and there you go. Got a beautiful cinch knot that's going nowhere. Just cut your tag off. And you got some nice cinch knots. And You know, when you're making 20 or 30 pompano rigs, two hooks on each, plus all the barrel swivels and everything, it's... You know, to do that by hand and twist it, and, you know, some guys use a fisherman's knot. Well, I learned real quick that you don't need a fisherman's knot, especially with this 50-pound. You know, it's it's plenty strong enough. I've never had a knot give out on me with a cinch knot, so you don't really need that fisherman's knot. Just a cinch knot is fine, and if you Google this, the cinch tie, knot tire... I'm not sure how much they are, but they're worth every penny because they're they're built really well. This thing is probably 15 years old, and uh, it's just built solid as a rock. It's spring-loaded, and uh, that's it for the cinch tie knot tire. I hope I helped you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel. Thank you.